Okay, today this video is about artificial neural networks. This video is inspired in my class in, in mathematical modeling and I want to thank uh, Dr. Isaiah, uh, is my professor, for inspiring me on this to, to do this video. So uh, let's say this is artificial ne neural network 101. So let's start from the most basic neural network. Imagine that we have uh, three entries, right? Each entry will have basically this is a vector. This is my vector, and we have also the weights here: weight one, weight two, weight three right and we have two things here one part is the linear the generalized linear part and the second part is basically will be this part it is the activation function function right okay so the first part that I was telling you, the generalized uh, linear uh, function, basically, will be something like this. Uh, it's just a multiplication of the two vectors, right? Plus the bias, you are equal to a specific value that we want. So, if we if we basically uh, have uh, the w as a vector, a vector w transposed multiplied by the vector, uh, I'm sorry, x, which is basically the input that we have here, plus the bias. This is the uh, the linear output. We call it c. Okay, and then basically what we want here is he's classified between true or false, it's, it's one or zero, right? So for that we need this activation function that in this case will have an A as an output activation function that depends of C and it is in this case something like this one right so if we see this part is equivalent to a logistic regression Okay, so let's get a, another example. This is the very basic uh, one. Let's create a um, little bit bigger imagination, a uh, uh, bigger uh, uh, neural network with a uh, uh, hidden la layer here and this is connected 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 everything is connected here and then we have another output layer connected here so all these uh, arrows that we have here will have a specific uh, w value right so we have the one one the one two one three two one two 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 three three one three two three three one two four three 
right? So basically we have here four three, right? Multiply it by what? By my x one, x two, x three. We are talking about this part only. Okay? This part is some something similar to this but with different uh, weights and different output from x right plus another b1 b2 b3 b4 so as you see here we have a, a, a matrix multiplication that at the end of the day we will have c1 c2 c3 and c4 right so all this is c1 c2 c3 and c4 and then this will be basically the input uh, to the activation function so from here we will have an a1 a2 a3 a4 and this a will be the input for this new part okay so this multiplication have to be included basically in a for loop let's say for loop in, in let's call it j equal to the layers and so on and it's going to iterate for this one just to clarify this is a very shallow uh, net neural network we, we we can have the the deep networks that we will have one a one two da, 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 x n and we will have several uh, several hidden la layers and of course this is connected with everything and so on and this is connected with everything also and here the same thing connected with everything in that case In that case, we will have here four hidden layers. Okay? But let's focus right now for this small one, just from the mathematical point of view, to see what is what we, we would like to, to have it in here, right? As I say, we, we can have the four loop and i or j let's go a j in layers and uh, we will have uh, we, uh, this vector uh, I multiply by a vector right vector here um the new one will be this uh, C value in this, in, in this in the activation function, okay? So it's this part, that the one that we will go to iterate. And of course, the, the A0 will be X, okay? So, as, as you have noticed, uh, the values of W that we have here uh, uh, and B are the ones that we have to optimize in order to, to get the output that we, we want. Maybe it's one, maybe it's zero, depending on whatever it, it, it we are testing right now. We are classified. Okay? So, 
let's, 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 let's go deep in the mathematical part. Basically, so we have, let's uh, put this in this way. We have x1, x2, da 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 da, da xn, w1, w2, da 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 da, wn, right? So, let's classify, let, let's put this in, this is a vector, and that is uh, real numbers, also w, so it's a vector that is coming from the real numbers, okay? And B is a vector Okay. So actually, this is not a vector. This is a matrix that we are getting here, the Ws, and we have to op optimize that. So we have that our estimation of of y will be the probability, right? That y is one or it is zero, right? Given that x as an input, right? Any of this x, we are talking about the input that we have for this x, for this particular neuron, okay? So basically, uh, we have uh, that y is a, a distribution of probability, right? But we also know that the estimation of y it is coming from this function that is getting as an input this the, the, the transpose of the vector the matrix w by the vector x plus the bias uh, vector v, right? which is C, right? So, uh, and we also have this, uh, uh, this function, C, which is the, the activation function, which is this one. There are many activation functions, by the way. I am taking this one right now, which is the most common, and this is the function that also we have in the logistic regression. So if, if, if X is super large, basically this, uh, uh, this function will be close to, to one. If, if X is uh, super negative large, we will have this close to zero. So basically what we have is something like this, right? This is one. This is zero, so it, it will uh, try to get close to, to this. And we have to estimate when we will have this code. Okay, so if we have to get the probability that is zero or one, basically this is a Bernoulli distribution, right? And as a Bernoulli distribution, if we if we put it in this way, if we have these parameters, these parameters is the generalized linear uh, regression, right? But for now, it's our parameters that we use uh, for the statistical the statistical parameters that we want to optimize. So we have. The case when uh, is one, right? Even that, the generalized linear regression part, right, is given. So
So we have to put it, how many of these we are given. To. Multiply it by the probability when y is zero. So the opposite, this is the complement. Given that the same uh, input that we have is given. And this is like this, right? So basically we, we can rewrite this as this is the output that we want to have, right? Multiply it by one minus the the output that we want to have in one. Right? And we have also that these parameters, these are all the statistical parameters that we want to have that will depend of this, right? Basically, this part is this plot and, and the vector x, okay? Okay, the transpose this vector just to show it like this. So in this case, what do we do? In this case, we can apply uh, the the um, this, the um, minimum square, but that mm, do not converge always to the maximum. Usually, it could get in the local minimums that that it it have uh, so we use the maximum likelihood maximum likelihood of theta that we call it here right which is the probability in this case that x happens when uh, when the input that we have is given, uh, we have to put it this as a multiplication of these functions, right? And then uh, we can have the log of this log of the maximum likelihood function, right? Which basically it is something like this. The log function have a nice property. It will convert this multiplication in uh, summatory while keeping uh, the one-to-one -one mapping from one point to another and it, it is a um, um, increasing uh, function so let's do this here is y r log of the input. This input, I am writing just these two variables, but basically it's all this multiplication that we have here. Right? And this, all these log function are monotone and increasing function, so this is why we're using it here. is log one minus you 
okay so why we have this this one here because it used to be here so we put it down because it's the exponent this is the the logarithmic properties same thing for this one we have this plus because it was a multiplication here right this part that we have here only the part that is internal it is called error function the error function and this part that we have including the summatory and all this this is the Jacobian cost function okay so but for the likelihood we have to get the derivative of this and equal like that to zero right so we have the derivative of the Jacobian function and we don't care what this is in the summatory but we have that the logarithm of this input it is y right multiplied but the the derivative of this because we have something like that actually we will we will do this in a moment right plus This is minus because we have that minus here. The same, the same like we have in that case. Right? So now what? Let's let's compute this part right now just to, to see what is going on in that part so for that we have that derivative of this with the input right It is uh, basically um, a derivative of all this x. But we we can use the calculus. Uh, here to do uh, this part together right the chain rule of this one plus in right this one multiplied by the derivative of the uh, x theta right so this part is x we know that and we will say that here is minus one square right this is minus one to so put minus one here and the square multiply my the derivative of one plus
multiply by x. And this, you know, we have a minus 1 here, minus 1 there, so we have minus 1, minus 1, and the derivative of 1 is 0, and e is the same. E transpose x, right? And this part I keep it in this like the, the same. And this is plus. So we will have we have until now we have this. But we, we can reorganize this little bit more, so it will uh, work for us better in a moment if we select uh, this part alone, right? This part is the function that we are working with. A sigma function multiplied by e this right x here right but th this is part we can extend it and this part is the function the sigma function that that we are working right so let's 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 do the extension of that basically will be So this is basically what we are looking for this. So remember the Jacobian function, the derivative of the Jacobian function that we were looking for at the beginning. So we have the sigma function here multiply by the sigma function here also one minus so this bar the sigma function here Function, sigma function plus one minus this one, one sigma function super large function that we have here okay but this part go away with this part this part go away with this one so we will have resulting one
let's let's put this outside and to keep this simple minus This. Let's multiply this inside so we have this along minus minus plus y. And we remove this too. Get basically y minus this um, x multiply by x. Okay, and this remember this is the derivative of the Jacobian function. This is super, super important function because this, we will use this uh, to do the optimization. So for that, uh, just to recall that uh, we can have a function in the Taylor expansion, right? It will be a derivative of this. Right, and if we have the Taylor expansion one, will be more or less to the function that we are approximating plus the derivative of first derivative of the function. Right. Multiplied by x minus a, right? But this part we are going to call this part the rate of learning, right? The training this this part that we have here. So what we have basically we will have that every w will come from the previous w. Right, minus the uh, this minus is coming from this a also minus the rate of learning plus the derivative, the field derivative of the Jacobian function, which is this one that we have here. The same thing for b. the previous one, let me rate the Jacobian function and just to clarify that this part that I will call it like this it is basically this is the generalized regression function okay so the proof of why this converge this is a topic for another video, but I think for this time, this is a the explanation to, for how a very simple um, logistic regression and a very simple uh, uh, neuro, at the artificial neural networks works. Okay, thank you. Bye.